medicinal mushrooms, mycelium on grain, and fruiting bodies. This is the dilemma. Oh, Using mushrooms as a supplement is a relatively recent thing here in the United States. 20 years ago, this practically didn't exist. And now, it's expected to grow to a $50 billion industry by 2022. So what exactly is in these mushroom supplements? Well, there's two different things. Fruiting bodies, mushrooms, like we think about when you hear the word mushroom, and mycelium. Now the mycelium is grown on grain, and then with the grain is dried and extracted and placed into capsules. Your typical mycelium would look something like this, where you can still see the grain that it's grown on, there's also some white surrounding it. Now, the question is, are these products primarily fungal tissue, or do they still have a lot of this grain still in them? So which one of these is it better to necessarily take? Well, the question's still being answered, and let's take a look at some of the data. So far, several studies have shown that supplements that use exclusively fruiting bodies have higher beta-glucan content than supplements that use mycelium on grain. So what does that mean for you? Well, it means that likely these mushrooms are gonna have more of the compounds that people want when they're taking a mushroom supplement than the mycelium on grain. Some studies have shown that up to 60% of myceliated grain might actually still be grain and not fungal tissue. When you're looking at the supplement aisle, it can be hard to distinguish which products are better and who to exactly trust, especially when there's so much money involved. That's why I think it's important to develop a relationship with these mushrooms and with the people that are providing them to you as a supplement. Best case scenario at this point is you can go to your local farmer at the farmer's market or co-op and get fresh mushrooms from them to either cook and eat or to process yourself into a tincture or some sort of supplement that you can take for your health. And if you are buying a product, make sure you know what's in it and it's what you want. If you want more info and to see some of the data, check out our link below.